In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Apple Thunderbolt display from 2011 to your modern M1 or later MacBook or any Mac with a Thunderbolt port. The only thing you're going to need to connect your modern Mac to your Apple display from 2011 is this Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 slash USB-C adapter. You can purchase this on Amazon or at the Apple store for $50. Also, if your built-in Thunderbolt cable does not work, that is it permanently attached to your display. You can purchase a Thunderbolt 2 cable on places like eBay or any online marketplace like that. Because as I showed in the beginning of the video, the display does actually have a female Thunderbolt 2 port on the back, just in case your original Thunderbolt 2 cable that is permanently attached to the display no longer works. As you see, my test subject for this video is an M4 Mac Mini. So you're going to take your Thunderbolt cable from your display and plug it into the adapter. As you see now, it is indeed plugged into the adapter. You're then going to take the Thunderbolt 3 end or the Type-C end of the cable and you are going to plug it in to a Thunderbolt port on your Mac. The Thunderbolt cable is now plugged in. I have two there, that's why you see the second one because I have another one for my other Mac. As you may be able to see, we now do have a picture on the display. But yeah, as you guys see, we have a picture on the screen from our M4 Mac Mini. And if we press the brightness keys on our keyboard, it does indeed work. Just like that, no third party app needed. As you can see, the volume buttons also work for the built-in speakers. Now, to get the audio to play through the speakers, you have to go to Control Center. You have to go to Sound, press the little arrow. Then you should see Display Audio. Select Display Audio and you're good to go. The audio will never disconnect from the built-in speakers as long as the Mac is connected. Now, this monitor is cool. One, because it's 1440p. Two, change your resolution we go to settings we go to displays and make sure you have 2560 by 1440 selected this monitor does also have an ambient light sensor for auto brightness here's our auto brightness button right here the color profile set to thunderbolt display now something else that makes this monitor awesome this monitor has a built-in webcam built-in speakers, amazing speakers at that, and a built-in microphone. So let's see if the camera works. Let's open QuickTime. This is running Mac OS Tahoe, by the way. All right, QuickTime's open. Let's go to File, New Movie Recording. Boom, as you see, we get the green dot on the display right there. And yeah, the camera works. It is a pretty crappy 720p webcam but not that bad. One thing that's cool is it does support reactions, the studio lighting and the background here. As you see, we can change the background. It does support that because that's built into Mac OS now. Pretty cool built-in webcam. Let me pull up a YouTube video so we can test the speakers. These speakers have a surprising amount of low end as well. They've got, I believe, two tweeters, either two tweeters or two sets of two tweeters, so four tweeters and it does have a dedicated woofer. So let's test out these speakers. All right, here we go with the speaker test. For this part of the video, I had to switch up the song playing. So what you're seeing on screen is not the song that's playing, but the audio is still coming straight from the Thunderbolt display speakers.
This is how to connect your 2011 Apple Thunderbolt display to any modern Mac. That's either Intel with Thunderbolt 3 or M1 or later Apple Silicon Max. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more videos in the future. Comment down below your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next video.